Hey YouTube, the purpose of this video today is about showing you the importance of living in spirit because when you live in spirit, you get to see a lot of things that you would not normally see when you're living in the flesh. Now, when you live in the flesh, you only depend on what you read, your understanding, your um, your human mem memory and how much you remember what you read and how much you can apply. I mean, that's all dangerous. So you better live in spirit. I'll show you a typical example. You see this video here? You can just see this man. The way he's talking is like, you, you can see something that is not of the Father. Just looking at it. If you live in spirit, you can discern a whole lot of things. But just looking at it and see, okay, this is not of the Father. Okay, look at these pictures here. People believing that there's a savior, there's the savior. Just have one glance and your spirit will tell you, you must live in spirit. So you can discern, you can hear because the spirit talks, but it won't talk like a human being talking to you. Like I'm talking to you right now. No, it, it, it makes, it give you that feeling. It talks to your feelings, talks to your heart. Okay, so you have to live in spirit so you can design. Look at one thing. I mean, there's no way this man can be holy. Anything, there's nothing holy. Look at the African tribes. I'm just throwing in just different pictures so you can get a feel, an idea of how to live in spirit, how to discern, how to hear when the spirit talks to you. I mean, there's no way you can think this is one of the, this is one of the tribes in Africa. So there's no way you can think that this is one of the children of Israel. Yeah, they are black. They are the Africans, but... They, 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 this is cult. This is all cult practice. So you can just see. Here's another one of uh, uh, the Hebrew Israelites. I mean, even the colors, purple, gold, black, the same color. Let's say you don't even know scripture, okay? You, you, had no, you are not using any reference from the Bible. You just look at it. You look using your spirit because the point here is living in spirit. Using spirit. When you have a first glance, look at these folks. Let's say you see them on the street. You can just see that this is cold. This is cold. Your spirit will tell you this is cold. It won't relax in you when you look at them. Here's another picture of one of them. You see, all the color, thing of Beyonce colors in her shows, Rihanna, MTV awards and stuff. They, they all use the same colors. It's all a cult thing. I don't even think these guys know they're doing cult, but because they're living in a wrong spirit and then they get hooked up into entertaining what that spirit wants them to do. So you better live in spirit so you can discern. You know, discern things in spirit and it won't feel comfortable to you. Then you know the spirit is telling you, look at this video. This man is yelling. I mean, there's nothing holding his, his, his tone of voice. Yelling. Look at him. He yelling, yelling, yelling. I got a dicker. Some even cussing too. Look at that. I'm not even talking about the, the, the star of the, the, the star of Malek and stuff trying to be technical. No, I'm using spirit discernment. That's all. That's all you're doing here. Using look at look at the, the, the Jews, the picture of the Jews. There's no way that you can think these are the children of Israel, this is holy. Mm -mm. Just just look at it. One glance, sit back and think what your spirit is telling you. Nothing holy about nothing here. Okay? And then we're talking about yeah, the children of Israel, these are the Jews, chosen nation. No, this is not the chosen nation. There's no way there's anything like this chosen to be holy, represent the whole world. Now these ones are, are close. They can de deceive a whole lot of people, but you can just one glance, you might think, oh, okay, white and then you know, Judah tribe and stuff, black people and stuff. But when you start to have a look and and you know more like five, ten minutes into it, you say, oh no, no, this is a regular cult too. You can just feel the spirit will tell you. There's the purple, red, and blue. They won't fail their colors. The colors are there. And that throne thing, power, pride. Come on, man. Look, here's another tribe. That's pure cult. Here's another picture of the Hebrew Israelites. Pure cult. You can't go wrong in here. You can't go wrong in it. And here's another, here's another one. Look, you can listen, and there's nothing, totally nothing holy about this right here. Nothing at all holy about, nothing at all. You can, you can tell. Now, those people following the Pope, some following the Jews, some thinking, Rabbi, this, look at that long beard. That's an Anunnaki spirit right there. You can tell. It, it's, it just looks evil. You just look at it, it just looks evil. 
Look, look, look. These ones, they look like bike riders. They call them Hebrews. I like talking about on the street. They, they are the ones. And, you know, they, they say what black um, native, native Indians and what's the third one? But they be saying three Negroes, Native Indians, and Spanish. Yeah, I think that's the three that they choose. But that's all cold. You can just see it. One glance and, oh, these people. Why can't people just see it? Look. Here's another picture. I'm throwing in random pictures so you can have an idea on how to discern. So you can practice it to yourself. Here's a current pope. Anything holding this? Look at that miter. Look at the dress code. I'm not even talking about facial expression, but just the look. Does that represent a holy man that will lead a congregation of, of the Father? No. So you can just tell. You can discern. So you better. You must learn how to live in spirit. Learn how to live in spirit and learn how to um, discern, you know, how to look Look at this man right here. Right, Just no, listen to so what he's like saying. He, he's he's, saying it. he's one of the um, Hebrew Israelites too. Be preaching on the street and talking about they are the ones. And the, 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 the pure cursing at people, and yelling and, 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 and saying all sorts of bad words, you know, reviling in, in other words, reviling people who didn't do anything to him. Look at this is Creflo Dollar Church. Is one of the most and you tell me this is Creflo Dollar Church. This is the practice. This that's dollars on the floor. People be don't donate dollars there, and, and you know, he he run over. Look at it. This is pure, 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 pure coke. There's nothing, nothing, nothing else you can say about this one right here. It's clear. This is what most Christian churches actually practice the, the the whole not the money thing on the floor but the whole yelling loud it's just it's just so not holy okay you, you can just tell you can just tell so there is no way this thing is holy and you have to live in spirit to discern and if you think you're going to depend on chapter 5, John 3, that be referencing material, no. That, that is the flesh understanding, the understanding of the world. And that understanding depends on your memory, depends on how much you know the Bible. No, no, no. And the whole lot of things that are not included in the Bible, that are not included in the Bible, and you want to know. Okay? And you won't know them if you depend on only what you read and only what you see. So you have to... Listen to the spirit. You must live in spirit if you want to understand fully the things of the scripture. Okay.